Hello, welcome. This is Rose from Stormy's Doodles. I've had several families ask how we make our dog food. Um, so, as you know, we wean our puppies all raw. We make a puppy grind for them that they start on when they're four weeks. But a lot of that also is due to the fact that they don't have teeth. By the time they go home with you, they do have their teeth and you can actually successfully raw feed them without a meat grinder. So we're gonna show you how to do that right now. And please excuse my video skills, I'm not as good as my husband. So first you gotta figure out how much raw do you actually need. So this is the formula that you use to determine that. For a puppy under one year old, you want to feed them 10% of their body weight daily. So the way that we figure that is, we're gonna say that we have a 30, 30 pound puppy, multiply it by 16 ounces in a pound, and that equals 480, 480 ounces. Then we're gonna multiply that by 10%, and that gets us at 48 ounces. And if we, we, since we feed twice a day, we're gonna divide that number in two, and that's how much each meal should weigh. Um, today's meal, we're gonna use, I mean, there's kind of a glare there, so let me get that out. Today's meal, we're going to use venison. Um, we were very fortunate to get several hundred pounds of venison when deer was in season from the fall through January. You can substitute ground beef. We're gonna use chicken thighs that we bought from Sam's Club, um, green lamb tri tripe from Albright's Raw Dog Food, and then we have supplements that we're gonna add to, to the meal, which is Doc Roy's Be Strong and Food Grade Diatomaceous Earth. So I'm just gonna show you what we have. The um, chicken and ground beef you can buy from Sam's Club. That's where these were purchased, our venison. And if you, if you have any friends who are hunters, um, letting them know you feed raw will excite them because it gives them a reason to bag more deer. Um, the deal with when you use any wild game that it must be frozen for at least three weeks to kill parasites before you feed it to your dogs. And this has been frozen for a month, so we're good. The green lamb tripe, right here. It's from Albright's, and you can purchase this at specialty dog food places. Not your PetSmart or your Petco, but you're gonna look for a boutique dog store, and they will more than likely carry raw dog food. There's a website too, you can go to albrights.com, albrightsrawdogfood.com. If you're in the Central Florida area, we order this through the Rough Pack Co-op. We get about two cases every four months and they come in two pound chubs and a case is 16. So two cases with the number of dogs that we have usually lasts us um, about six months. You can also buy it by the individual chub. It's like, I think it's like $8 per tube. This is the Doc Roy's Be Strong. It is a um, multivitamin and mineral supplement. Our dogs are not real keen on eating organs like liver and kidney. So we use this supplement every day to make up for what they're not getting in those organs. Um, and it just kind of comes in waves. Sometimes, sometimes they love liver, sometimes they don't. But we do this every day. We, I have it here in a condiment bottle and we just squirt it on top. This is food grade diatomaceous earth. You can order it on Chewy or on Amazon. We actually take this ourselves. It's a great supplement for you as a human. It's good for parasites. It has silica in it for joint health. We put it in a shaker like this and then we um, shake it on every meal. You will need a food scale. You can order these on Amazon. This one's like $14. Um, so that you can weigh your portions. And this is our dog bowl here. I do have the tripe and the, the venison already on a plate just to make it easier for me to portion it while I'm doing the video. But again, you can use ground beef. So we're gonna start by, let me set up my camera so I don't have to hold it while I do this. Let's see if I can, excuse me, my editor is not home and I'm trying to do this by myself because I know I can. So let me slow it a little bit more and then I'm gonna move the scale to where you can see it. All right, so here's our food scale. 
and I'm going to put my bowl on it first and then I'm going to turn it on and it's, if, I, if you put the bowl on it first it'll tear automatically to zero. So here we're at zero. Um, I don't always wear gloves, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, so I'm not going to wear gloves right now. So we're going to start by adding the beef. We need, remember we need a 24 ounce bowl, so I'm going to put the beef in first and or venison excuse me but in your case you, you're probably going to use beef so i've got do 12 ounces right now a little over 12 ounces of venison next i'm going to add the chicken thigh for that you're going to need some kitchen shears i do this all the time don't throw up let's see, let's see. we'll put that in there what does that get us to gets us to 24 with the whole chicken thigh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cut it with the shears. Now dogs do need bone. They do need bone content in their food. And you'll see here in this chicken, there's bone right here. The, these thighs are actually really perfect for, for the puppies um, when they're under six months. It's the perfect size for them to be able to chew. And um, and get their bone content. Now, if the puppies are over six months, especially if you have a standard golden doodle from us, you can actually just give them a whole chicken leg and they will, they will go to town and eat that chicken leg. So we're gonna cut some meat off of the bone and let it fall in there. Again, if, if it's a puppy, if it's a standard golden doodle, over or medium golden doodle over six months, you can just give them a whole chicken leg. Um, what you can do to start is cut the meat off the chicken leg and then just put the whole leg and the rest of the leg in there, but they'll eat that. And as you can see, this is the bone and it's a pretty decent sized bone that is easy for a puppy six months or under to consume. Put it there. And then we're just gonna cut pieces of meat and just some chunks here. The chicken thigh, skin and all. And I'm watching as it hits the bowl what the weight is, because I'm not gonna use this entire chicken thigh since it did go over 24 ounces and I still need to add my tripe. Um, you want to invest in a good pair of shears. These are just some cheap ones that I got on clearance at Target. But um, definitely invest in a good pair of shears. All right, so now we're at 22 ounces, roughly, I'm gonna show you. So our bowl's at 22 ounces right now. We just have the chicken and the venison. Now I'm going to add the green tripe. This is what green tripe looks like. It's green-ish. It, it, the tripe is actually the stomach. Um, stomach and the lining and some of the intestine of the animal. Um, we, you, we buy green tripe, green lamb tripe, because it's an additional protein for the dogs. It all, you can also buy beef tripe as well. And again, you're gonna find those through raw feeding co-ops or through those specialty boutique pet stores, or you can order it online from some suppliers. But again, this is albrightrawdogfood.com. You can see that. So you can go to their website and look for a supplier near you. So I'm at 22.6 ounces, and now I'm just gonna add the green tripe on top till I get to 24. And that's a little bit over, but that's fine. It's not gonna hurt her. Now, um, green tribe is just like kind of like a topper. Um, it is irresistible, like they, they love this stuff. So it smells horrible, so prepare yourself for that. Um, you'll probably gag the first time you open it up, but you get used to it. The do your dog loves it, your dog will love you for it. So now I'm at 24.20 ounces. So that's a good meal for my dog. Now it's time to add my supplements. So I'm gonna add this Doc Roy's Be Strong. 
see that right there? I ordered this from revivalanimalhealth.com. I order it by the gallon because we use it a lot and we have a lot of dogs. It does come in a 16 ounce and a 32 ounce. So I'm just gonna take it, see my little condiment bottle, just kind of squirt a little bit on top. And that's gonna cover any um, vitamins or minerals that might be missing. And then this is our diatomaceous earth. Again, this is a natural parasitic, helps with parasites and joint health. We're just gonna sprinkle that on top. And there you have it. This is a very simple, do-it-yourself, raw feeding bowl. Get out of here, fly. Um, and your dog will love it. Now, as you get comfortable, there's a lot of information out there on the internet about what to feed, balancing, whatnot. As you get comfortable, you can add more things to your bowl. You can use different proteins. Um, we like to go to the Asian markets once a month and pick up things like duck wings and um, dried fish. Um, they have like dried anchovies and dried scad. So we'll pick those up once a month and add those to the bowl. Um, every now and then if we can find like goat cubes on sale, if you're at an Asian market or Caribbean market, you can get goat. Um, turkey necks, chicken necks, those are good things to add to the bowl. Um, but as you get more comfortable doing it, you can get more creative with what you put in there. We do not add any um, fruits or vegetables to our, to our dog's diet, um, but that doesn't mean that you can't. We just don't, and it's been fine for us. I'm gonna try to get this screenshot so you guys can see this while I'm talking. Um, ooh, sorry, my tripod's not cooperating here. But um, you can do blueberries, you can do um, carrots, sweet potatoes, a lot of people like to grind greens like spinach and kale um, and put that in the in the bowl. You can do that as well. We do, we do a strictly um, protein and bone diet, but you can add vegetables to your dog's diet as well. And there are all kinds of recipes on the internet that you can follow. So hopefully this helps. Um, helps you with the um, raw feeding. Again, I know it's, it's kind of intimidating and there's a lot of food up a lot of info on the internet, but it is really simple. And once your puppies go home, you can feed them like this without a meat grinder. Um, if you want to grind, um, you would do, all you would do is throw all this stuff in the grinder. Everything that's in this bowl, you would throw in the grinder all together, kind of mix it up, and then you would portion it out at 24 ounces at a time. So hopefully that helps. I'm gonna just run through again the ingredients for you to kind of help you out and again very simple if you have any questions please message us